All right, you got uh, two inspections a day. They're, um, it's raining outside. I actually like performing inspections when it's raining. You get a lot of uh, <clears throat> good stuff that you can't normally find on your normal home inspection. Um, let's go see if I can find you something. around here at the base. Yeah, got some water there. So that's just a basic start. Uh, it's not a very detailed search of the kitchen, it's just a basic search of the kitchen. The main purpose of this is, do I have running water? Is the water hot? Do I have electricity? Do I have gas to the property? If you know that you have all of these just by entering the kitchen, you know that you're good to go to start the inspection or move further forward. This is actually a good tip for even agents too, if you're about to schedule your home inspections. Uh, this is a, just a good basic step that you could do just in the kitchen, uh, just by running on the water and turning on the oven, just to see if you're, you're good to go. All right, uh, there was two things that stuck out to me on this property. It's brand new, it's only a 2004. Uh, but uh, the first one was the deck. I get a lot of leaks around these decks uh, sometimes, uh, but this one, the way it was sloped and I had some rusty nails and some water stains underneath it. I took a thermal scan, I didn't get any active moisture, so it, they may have repaired it in the past, but I still put it in my report uh, so he could contact the sellers to ask them what they did. Uh, the second thing was is that there was a lot of standing water, you know, from last night, all in the, in the area over the drains and uh, with all that standing water in place it you know set me on edge uh, and let me and so for us to contact the uh, HOA to make sure that the drainage is being taken care of and that's it guys uh, let's head to property number two and see if I can find something I couldn't get any video on site so I'm just gonna go ahead and close this video out in front of the desk here I'll go over the camera like I did last time and I'll hit each individual topic that I'd say is, I'm not gonna hit everything because the property was like 20 years old, but I'm just gonna hit the, the important items and then I'm gonna go eat dinner. For the first one, whenever I walked up, the uh, I saw some water stains in the garage. It took me a while to find out the source of it, but I'm guessing uh, the sinks or the toilet leaked at one point in time. I hit it with my thermal camera my moisture meters, it was inactive at the time of the inspection. The second one is the faucets and like the toilets and the faucets at the laundry connections were really rusted and then also several of the toilets were loose and even one of the toilets were leaking onto the floor whenever I did the inspection. Again, let's stick into the major items. On the back side, uh, there was no kick out flashing on the, on the back side of the chimney so you're having water pour directly on these windows and all this roof drainage pouring into one spot and it's caused a lot of drainage issues around the back side of the structure. <laughs> the dog. And then the final thing that I'm just going to hit right here, um, well actually I hit two things. Uh, the final thing is the upstairs coils were pretty much shot. They look pretty rough. They have been leaking a while and a lot of air leaking around it. Also it wasn't working. It was shut down. The filters were dirty. I recommend it for technician and I always uh, recommend Mario. Uh, I'll sit, put his information below. Uh, but that's it. Uh, that's Chris with A Action. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions about these pictures that I posted. And also, uh, please subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. Finn says subscribe.